Today on Live at 3, family and friends saying their final goodbyes to Milwaukee Alderman Joe Dudzik. The 56-year-old died last week in a motorcycle crash. The longtime civil servant remembered today on Milwaukee's south side. Jonah Kaplan reports. It is worth acknowledging that the circumstances around Alderman Dudzik's death are very difficult. The medical examiner reported that he did have a blood alcohol level of 0.137 and Dudzik was not wearing a helmet. Still, everyone who came here today said that that should not be what is remembered about the alderman. He should be thought of as a greater individual, one who did so much good for this city. Mourners lined up early today for the morning visitation. A tribute to Joe Dudzig attracted city leaders, friends, family, and members of the greater community. Well, what would Joe want us to do? Joe would want us to go on helping one another taking care of one another. Father Cooper delivered today's homily. He's been Dudzik's pastor for 15 years and says the alderman attended mass every week. Joe Dudzik was a great supporter of St. Matthias, very active and helpful in all our organizations. Others we spoke with say they'll remember the alderman more as a friend. Scott and Janet Fisher knew him as Joey growing up on the south side. Oh, he's the friend you call at 2 o'clock in the morning and he's there to help you out. There's no doubt about it. He's that kind of friend. Joey was that kind. Dudzik leaves behind a wife and two children. In Milwaukee, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. Dudzik was first elected to the Common Council in 2002 and also worked with the Department of Public Works.